Hi and welcome to Intersoft Solutions video tutorial. My name is Nicholas Lee. In this video, I will explain the general overview about Crosslight at a higher level point of view. What is Crosslight? Crosslight architecture, Crosslight technology, Crosslight development pattern, and much more. Stay tuned. Speaking of cross platform development, as a cross platform mobile framework, there are some challenges which needs to be addressed as a whole. Of course, the framework needs to be able to target multiple platforms at once. It needs to have a high code usability. The apps produced using the framework needs to provide great native user experiences with less or no noticeable lags. Developers will also need to be able to introduce their own custom codes and services to integrate into the framework for customizability. To achieve this, the components need to be loosely coupled for easy testing and scalability. Introducing Crossline A native cross-platform MVVM-based mobile framework specifically designed to address the aforementioned challenges. Built with the future in mind, Crosslight is ready to take on the future of mobile development. Say, if there's a new platform in the market, and if it's possible to write the code in C-Sharp, Crosslight can be extended to support the platform as well. Here, I will give you a quick overview of what is Crosslight. Crosslight is a whole new level of cross-platform mobile development that emphasizes simplicity, efficiency, maintainability, usability, and extensibility. You can write once and target any platforms natively, including iOS, Android, Windows Phone 8, and Windows 8. It enables rapid line of business mobile apps development, thanks to the work of business components and time-saving features. It's not just a framework. Crosslight provides comprehensive user interface components mobile services and tooling support. Thanks to Xamarin, now we are able to create iOS and Android apps natively using c -sharp. Using Xamarin, we can build a shared application code that runs natively on both iOS and Android. However, Crosslight aims to take that further. Since Microsoft has its own mobile platforms, namely Windows Phone and Windows 8, Crosslight acts as a bridge that shares the code which runs natively on four platforms at once Android, iOS, Windows 8, and Windows Phone. Not only shareable, Crosslight also ships with added features such as mobile services, intuitive form builders, MVVM enabled view components, and much more. At the heart of Crosslight is the portable class library that acts as a shareable project that hosts the view models, binding providers, shareable assets, extensions, that access layers, and the models. In the next layer, we have the Xamarin Mono and Microsoft.net that acts as the wrapper and provides classes for use in portable projects. Next, we have the platform abstractions, in which the shareable code is translated natively to run on each platform. In this level, we have Crosslight for iOS, Crosslight for Android, Crosslight for Windows Phone, and Crosslight for Windows 8. Lastly, we have the native mobile platforms that execute our code. Let's take a quick look at how Crosslight can significantly improve our code in terms of both reusability and maintainability. Say we want to have a page with a button in the middle of the screen that shows a dialog box on click with the title my mobile app and the message of the world from my mobile app. On iOS, we would have a UI view controller and we would override the view debug method and do something like this. On Android, we do something pretty similar. We override the onCreate method and execute our logic as you would do on Windows Phone. As you can see, currently, the logic codes are tightly coupled to the view. How would you achieve the same result using Crosslight? Well, the previous iOS code becomes something like this. 
similarly Android code as well as the Windows Phone code. And this is the view model that holds the previous logic of showing a message with the dialog box. As you can see, the UI view is now completely separated from the business process. We also introduced the binding providers for iOS as well as Android that will connect the view model which resides in the shared project to the view. In iOS, the view is the UI view control class and activity for Android. Why there are no binding providers for Windows Phone? It's because Windows Phone can directly bind to the view model, so no binding providers are needed. Here I will explain a bit about MVVM pattern used in CrossLab. This topic will be elaborately covered in the next video, which is understanding MVVM pattern in CrossLab. In short, at the core, the shared project or the view model layer where binding providers, commands, properties and fields, mobile services, and data access layer. The data access layer will then connect in a two-way binding fashion to the model, which will then also connect in a two-way binding fashion to the view layer, the activity for Android, UIV controller for iOS, and page for Windows Phone. We will now take a quick look of how a cross-site solution looks like. As mentioned earlier, we will have a shared core project with followed by several platform-specific projects. The core project itself has shareable assets, many providers, view models, extensions, and app service, which acts as the main entry point for the apps built using Crosslight. So what does this mean for enterprise? You can expect a faster development time, which in turn reduces costs in health. Faster development time means faster time to market. Developers with existing .NET skill set will have almost no difficulty in leveraging existing programming skills, such as C Sharp, .NET, and MVVM. Enterprises can leverage existing investments in Microsoft technologies such as Visual Studio 2012, Application Lifecycle Management, TFS, Test Center, etc., while still be able to keep up in the mobile era. Not only powerful data binding features, Crosslight also ships with an intuitive form builder that works consistently across platforms. How long have we tried to create data forms that work simply and beautifully consistent Cross platforms. Now you can do so using the cross site form builder. It's very simple. Just use attribute based definition at the model layer. Cross site form builder also comes with data validation support. It comes with over 25 built in editors. It also supports custom editors. The forms are designed to conform with each platform UI guidelines. More about the form builder will be covered in a separate video. The video will cover creation of simple login form and registration form using the Crosslight form builder feature. What's more, Crosslight comes with built-in services that allows you to access native mobile services that most cross-platform mobile frameworks are unable to achieve. You can take pictures and videos with a camera, crop the photos and obtain the result, get current device location and monitor location changes, compose emails with attachment easily, share content to social networks using the native mobile app, make phone calls using the telephone services, and much more. As mentioned previously, Crosslight is fully extensible. Using this state-of-the-art dependency delegation, you can build your custom services, presenters, editors, and view builders. Take this illustration for example. In Crosslight for this phone, 
we provide a default toast presenter as shown. You can change it to a custom one as you see fit and call your custom presenter right from the view model. The cross light extension part will be covered in greater detail in a separate video in cross light advanced topics section. The cross light project wizard, which is accessible from the new project menu in Visual Studio, lets you create cross light and jump start your development using cross light. Currently, we'll provide several templates that you can choose from with live preview so that you can see the expected apps resulting from the provided option. You are given 30 days to try out CrossLight until the project wizard expires and you will have to purchase a license to continue using the CrossLight project wizard. For licensing information, check out our store at intersoftpt.com store. The blank template is the default Hello World app for CrossLight. The blank template gives a quick overview of how things work in CrossLight. Just enough to get developers started to understand the concept of MVVM pattern, such as commanding, data binding, and view model. It also introduces how we can get the info of the current device right from the view model and interact specifically for each platform if necessary. Notice that the Hello World message is different for each platform. The navigation template provides simple navigation template for developers to create multi-menu apps. It gives developers a quick overview of how navigation works in CrossLight, which is achieved right from the view model. The project wizard also provides two variants of the navigation pattern, which are the list and split variants, which affects the tablet version of the Android and iOS app. You can find out more about navigation patterns in CrossLight by exploring the samples included with the installation of Mobile Studio. You can check out services samples under the navigation service section. Also, you can consult the documentation for more information. The navigation pattern will be covered in greater detail in a separate video. The master detail template gives developers a quick start on how to build a master detail app. Complete with detachable item repository that can be customized according to the needs of the app. It also supports grouping of items. The project wizard provides two variants for the master detail pattern. For iPad, we provide the collection and split variants of the app. In the collection variant, the item detail will be presented in a popover controller whereas in the split variant, the item detail will be presented on the right side of the screen. In the Windows 8 version of the Grid app, the item detail will be presented in push navigation, whereas in the split version, the item detail will be presented on the right side of the screen. The tablet template gives all time menu app in the form of tabs. The tab version is suitable for app which have menus that is limited to at most 5 to 6 menus. As apps with more menus will want to consider the navigation template for better user experience. The tab variants only apply to Windows Phone, which will be presented in the form of either Panorama or Python. In this video, I have outlined what is CrossLight and how CrossLight works on a high level overview. You can check out the documentation on Mac as well as explore our samples, which is included with the installation of Mobile Studio. You can also visit our forums at intersoftpt.com slash community slash crosslab. Check out our online documentation at intersoftpt.com slash support slash crosslab slash documentation. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact us at technical at intersoftpt.com. In the next video, I will explain more about MVVM design pattern in CrossLight apps. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.